What's up, YouTube? It's Shackle Goldkick in the middle of an abandoned baseball field. That's a first for a video, ain't it? Anyways, I don't know if this will be a series, but what I want to talk about in this video is a rat beef that I think should have happened and should have went somewhere. Now, I like rat beefs as long as they don't get too out of control where people die and stuff like Tupac and Biggie. I don't like those rat beefs, but I like the ones where it stays in hip hop. And there's a specific rap beef in the underground that I really wish would have went further because I feel like it would have been really cool. So the rap beef I'm going to be talking about is Dennis versus Rob Level. Now Rob Level used to go by Novi Novak, but now his name is Rob Level, so we'll refer to him as that. But back when he was Novi Novak, there was kind of a beef between these two, but it didn't really go the way a rap beef should go. So how the beef started essentially Dennis is from Chicago and so is Rob Level. They're both rappers, both the same size as well, both muscular. Um, Dennis did a diss track to Rob Level called Smokey the Queer. Now, I like the beat and I like the lyrics to that diss track, but Dennis's flow was just not there. His flow was a mess on that song. Like, that wasn't a good diss in terms of delivery. It was not really good. Um, the lyrics were cool. I like the beat. But Dennis rushed that song. He could have did a much better job with that diss song, in my opinion. Um, but he fired the first shot with that diss song. And then he took a, he took another shot at Novi Novak. Or not Novi Novak. I'm so used to calling him that. He took another shot at Rob Level. This, like I said, Smokey the Queer. That was a whole diss aimed at Rob Level. And then he dissed him again on I Can't Get Enough, uh, the song J. Cole did. Dennis dissed him on there and said, you know, who's Novi Novak? I got past his prime. So I don't know what Dennis's reasons were for dissing Rob Level. It was probably just some competition stuff or maybe just to get some attention or publicity. I don't know. I never really heard Dennis talk about Rob Level off the mic. But I think it would have been an interesting beef because they're both from Chicago. Now, in terms of Rob Level... He never did songs dissing Dennis, which I think is a shame. But when it comes to Rob Level, in terms of what he did is he did talk about it somewhat. Like I remember asking, I probably won't pull up the screenshots because I don't even know where the fuck they are. But I remember talking to Rob Level and I was asking him about the whole Dennis thing. And he said that, yeah, I remember this guy Dennis dissed me. I was trying to ask him about it and friend request him on Facebook and he didn't want to do that. I even tried to delete friends off my list to make room to add him. So I just... So he basically told me that dude could suck my dick for all I care. He basically didn't care for him. And then there was another time where I was in a fan group. It was like a Novi Novak. See, I, I'm so used to calling Novi Novak. It's Rob Level now, but I'm just so used to calling him his old name because that's how I found him. But there was a fan club that was based around Rob Level. It was the whole villain squad thing, right? And in that fan group, I pretended to be someone named Josh Summers, and I had a profile of Dennis. I did some stupid shit when I was a teenager, such as the troll rap stuff, which I haven't even talked about that yet. I'll have to do a video about that one day. But I pretended to be somebody, and I posted the diss that Dennis did to Rob Level in the page. And Rob Level said, "Who? LOL, who let this guy in here? Um, he didn't know that I was impersonating that person. I don't even know if he'd remember because he's like a hustle 50 cent type dude nowadays. So who knows if he'd even remember who the hell I was. But he posted, you know, LOL, who let this guy in here? And then he said that I already destroyed one Eminem clone. I'm not going to waste my time with another one. This is trash or something like that. So he said that stuff. And then he said what he said in Messenger. But that's all Rob Level said when it comes to the whole Dennis thing. Whereas Dennis, he dissed him twice. And I think this is a rap beef that should have happened, and I really wish it would have went somewhere. Um, because it would have been a cool rap beef. I mean, Dennis and Rob Level can both rap, and they can both diss for the most part. I mean, I feel like, in my opinion, Rob Level crushed Hobson in the beef. Rob Level destroyed him, in my opinion. So, I think if Rob Level would have actually came out with some songs, and we could have saw Dennis and Rob Level go head-to-head -head back and forth, I think that would have been a really cool beef, because it would have been another beef to see Rob Level in. It would have been very interesting. It would have been two MCs from Chicago beefing with each other. And I just think it would have been a cool rap beef. And I really wish it would have went somewhere. Because all that happened is that Dennis dissed him twice. Rob Level talked about him to me on Messenger. On, and then on some page where I pretended to be somebody. And that's as far as the beef went. If I had to make a theory 
I think the reason that Dennis dissed him was for like publicity or competition because he's from Chicago and Rob Lowell's from Chicago and also because Dennis did this Hobson as well. So yeah, I wanted to talk about that beef real quick because nobody really, nobody's really talked about that beef before. Um, so I wanted to talk about that. So yeah, Dennis versus Rob Level. That's a rap beef that should have happened and should have really went somewhere. I'm not saying I want them to kill each other, but they should have been dissing each other back and forth. Dennis did the disses, but Rob Level wasn't doing them. And it's not just a case of, oh, Dennis is just not that known. Rob Level would be a waste of time for him. No, Dennis was known. Dennis has been on No Life Shack's channel. He's been on plenty of reaction channels. Hell, Eminem even tweeted about Dennis. Dennis has pull online. So a lot of people do know who he is. A lot of that comes from him sounding like Eminem, of course. But, you know, a lot of people do know who Dennis is. He has like 100K subs, you know. Him and Rob Lovell kind of have, you know, they're kind of in the same position. But I would say Dennis is just a slightly, he's slightly more known than uh, Rob Lovell because of the whole Eminem thing and being on No Life Shack's channel. Um, so it would actually benefit Rob Level. It would have actually benefited him to go back and forth with Dennis back in the day and respond to his disses. Then we get this beef back and forth with Dennis and Rob Level are just dissing each other back and forth. It would have been a really good beef. It would have been really cool to see. And I think it would have been awesome. I would have loved to see that rap beef. And I think it should have happened and it should have went further. Um, I really wish Rob Level would have responded and did his own disses because he you know, in my opinion, I like Hobson, but I think he kicked Hobson's ass in the beef. Even Hobson admitted that shit. Hobson said that he got beat by Rob Level. He admitted to himself. You know, and I like Hobson, but I do think he lost to Rob Level. Rob Level is a beast, man. He can rap for sure. I'm not a fan of his newer music, to be honest. I prefer his older stuff, but yeah. Even nowadays, his beef would be cool to see, you know? And they would both benefit from it because they're both, they both have some type of status, you know? And it would, it just, it would have been a cool rap beef to see. Um, so that's pretty much all I got to say in this video. I wanted to talk about this rap beef that's very underground between Dennis and Rob Level. Um, yeah, it, it's an interesting beef, you know, because Rob Level was in one beef and Dennis does do diss tracks and they're both from Chicago. But it never really fully went anywhere, which I think is a shame because it would have been cool to see both of these rappers go back and forth and go head to head and diss the shit out of each other. I don't know who would have won the beef because they're both good at doing diss tracks. I do think Dennis got better at disses over time, you know, because I feel like, like I said, Smokey the Queer, the delivery was a mess on that song. Um, but his delivery was a lot better in the J. Cole thing when he was dissing Rob Level. So, yeah, that's, I don't, like I said, I don't know if this is going to be a series, so I don't want to call it that. But yeah, this is Dennis versus Rob Level, a rap beef that should have happened and there should have been more done with it. Because I think it would have been interesting to see what could have came of it. And then maybe they would have ran into each other in Chicago. Maybe they would have even, like I said, I don't want people to kill each other. But maybe they would have had a physical fist fight, you know, as well. And both of them are like the same size. Dennis and Rob Lowell are both pretty much the same size. And maybe they would have eventually squashed beef. And maybe they would have worked together, you know, for stuff like that. Um, you know, and... You know, I want to, you know, I like to talk about things that aren't talked about. You know, I'm not here to talk about Nas versus Jay-Z or Eminem versus, you know, I don't want to talk about the shit that everybody else already talked about. I want to talk to you about beefs that don't get talked about. I will say shout out to Kadeem the King, though. Um, he's, done, he's done these versus videos for a while where he covers beefs. So this is kind of like what he does. Um... So, shout out to Kadeem the King. Go subscribe to him. I want to give credit because I don't want to just, you know, do something similar but then not say something. So, shout out to Kadeem the King. He does, like, the versus type videos. Um, kind of similar to this. But this is just a little bit different in terms of, like, a what if type thing. But, yeah. That's all I got to say in this video. You let me know what you think of Dennis and Rob Level. Um, who you think would have won this beef if it actually did go somewhere and they actually did go back and forth. Um... I wish it would have went somewhere because it would have been a very competitive, fun battle to see, you know, um, you know, it would have been cool. It would have been really cool. If I had to make a bet, I would say maybe Rob Level, like if I had to choose right now, maybe Rob Level would slightly beat Dennis because Rob Level already had experience beefing with, um, with Hobson and he destroyed him. Whereas with Dennis... When he beefed with Passionate MC, granted, I don't really care for Passionate MC. I think he's a 
douchebag as a person. I think his music is fucking boring. He's a wannabe rapper that never made it. He rides Hobson's nuts all the time. I don't care for Passion MC. But Passion MC, he did do better in that beef. Dennis's diss to Passion MC was half-assed and basic. You know, so Dennis didn't really do well with Passion MC, whereas Rob Level, he destroyed Hobson. But Hobson did hold his own, but I feel like Rob Level won that beef. Even Hobson said it himself. Um, so because Rob Level won that beef, and he already had that experience of battling someone like Hobson, and then you contrast the Dennis and Passion MC thing, I would probably pick Rob Level. I think he would win, but you never know. It's something that never happened, so I'm not sure what would have happened, but man it would have been a really cool beef to see um i doubt dennis or rob level is watching this but if they are look man don't kill each other but you guys should diss each other back and forth um you're two mcs from chicago that should have happened man i mean dennis at least did the tracks but rob level didn't and i don't know why rob level didn't man he dissed hobson for talking shit it's like dennis was talking shit on two songs rob level you should have dissed him back he's from your same state he's from chicago he's calling you out you know he, Rob Lovell should have responded You know, he would have benefited from it But that's really all I gotta say in this video Of Dennis versus Rob Lovell A rap beef that should have uh, happened And there should have been more with it That's all I gotta say in this video Peace